Hi Lafayette kids, welcome to Sunday School. Since we're doing Sunday School from my house today, the candle that we're going to light is my favorite candle that my best friend Maddie made for me. Okay, ready? Here is the spark of Father God's light. See how it keeps us so warm and bright. Hands to Welcome to Sunday School and Happy Easter. Our affirmation today is, my true self is ever new. Can you say that part with me? My true self is ever new. And the second part, I am eternal light, love, and joy. So let's say it all together. My true self is ever new. I am eternal light, love, and joy. Let's say it one more time. My true self is ever new. I am eternal light, love, and joy. So today is Easter. Why do we celebrate Easter? You guys know the story of how Jesus died on the cross and was buried and rose again three days later. So we celebrate his resurrection. Easter is a celebration of rebirth. What are some other things that are reborn in the springtime? How about flowers that have been asleep under the earth all winter? Those are reborn in the springtime. What about grass that turns green again? That's reborn. What else is born in the springtime? How about baby animals like baby bunnies? Those are born in the springtime too. Jesus's life taught us that no matter what happens, any changes that happen to us, or even deaths that happen, we can have eternal light, love, and joy. His life and his resurrection taught us that no matter what happens, we can always have his joy in our hearts. So there's lots of changes going on right now, right? You guys are doing your school from your houses. That's a big change. What other things are changing in your life? Are any of the things that are changing making you feel upset or scared? That's normal. Changes make us feel uneasy because it's unexpected. We don't know what's happening next, right? But because we know that we are eternal light, love, and joy, we have that in our hearts, we know that no matter what change happens, we're still going to be okay. So here's where you can pause the video. I want you to go get a piece of paper and a pen and then come back. Okay, so together we're going to make a list of 10 things that make us feel renewed. Okay, so when changes are happening or you're feeling unsure or uneasy, you can look at this list of things that you've made. Um, and pick one of them to do to help you feel renewed again because we know through what Jesus taught us that No matter what's happening. We can always feel renewed, right? We have his eternal light love and joy in us So I'm going to read you my list of ten things and Then if you want to comment on the video or send me a note to tell me your ten things I want to hear what your ten things are too so here's 10 things that make me feel renewed. The first one is taking a bike ride. Has anybody been able to take a bike ride while we've been stuck inside? It's kind of tricky to do because you don't want to do it when there's too many people outside. But I went for a bike ride really early in the morning one day and there weren't very many people out. That was something that made me feel renewed. Another thing that makes me feel renewed is playing piano. I know a lot of you play instruments or sing, so you could try that one. Or singing with my guitar, that's the third thing that makes me feel renewed. Sometimes doing yoga makes me feel renewed. 
I know we do yoga together in class sometimes, so maybe that's something you could try at home. Sometimes just taking a shower makes me feel renewed. Or doing a face mask or washing my face. Do you ever just wash your face? And that can be like a new start for your day. When I was a little girl, my mom used to always start every day by washing our face, brushing our hair, and brushing our teeth. And so when I do those things, it makes me feel like I'm starting new. So maybe that's something you could try too. I like to plant things, to garden. That's another thing that makes me feel new again. Or cooking a fancy dinner. Spending time with the people I love. So a lot of us are stuck at home right now, but I bet you have people you love at your house with you, right? So maybe you could pick out a board game to play together or find some game that you could do together that makes it like you're really spending time together, not just watching TV together. How about dancing to good music? That one's my last one. I've been doing that a lot since we've been stuck at home. I like to put concerts on the TV by bands that I really like, and then I just dance all by myself. You could try that at home too. It might help. It might make you feel renewed. Okay, I'm going to read a story for you guys, and then I have a song, and we'll be all done. The story is called Andre's New Day. Yesterday had not been good at all. He had such high hopes, and nothing turned out the way he wanted. Andre remembered how awful he had felt when he went to sleep last night, and now he stared at the ceiling and felt awful again. Suddenly, his mom came into the room, as she always did at 7 o'clock in the morning, and she opened the curtains. Good morning! It's pancake time, she said cheerfully. Andre groaned and rolled over. His mom sat on the side of the bed and gently said, Still feel bad about yesterday? Andre nodded into his pillow. Well, I can understand how you feel, but it's a new day. Every day is a new beginning, Andre. She gave him a pat and left the room. Andre thought about what his mom said as he got dressed and ate his pancakes. He liked the idea of starting new and leaving yesterday behind. On his way to school, he noticed all the daffodils coming up in the neighborhood. His dad had told him how the flowers die on top, but the bulbs hold the energy underground and bloom again in the spring. This year, there were even more than last year. As Andre walked, he tried to think about making his walk to school new and different from all the other times that he had walked the same way to school. He usually looked down at his feet, but today he looked ahead. There were other kids walking to school, and he counted how many he could see. There were seven on this side of the block, and four on the other side. There was also a woman with a baby in a stroller and a dog on a leash. They were all starting a new day. Andre stopped at the corner, and a squirrel dashed up a tree right next to him. He knew squirrels hibernate during the winter and come out in the spring. This one disappeared into a hole in the tree. Andre wondered if it had babies in it. His watch beeped for eight o'clock, 15 minutes to get to school. The thought came into his mind that the new hour was another new beginning. How could he, how could he be new in this hour? He decided to look up. The trees were swaying in a soft breeze and the clouds were huddled together as if they were planning their new day. As he watched, the clouds changed and became a new shape. He took the next block at a fast run and felt the cool air on his face. When he stopped at the corner, his heart was beating fast. It felt like a happy beat. And Andre realized that he was smiling. His breath was faster, too, and he enjoyed filling up his lungs with new air. Another thought occurred to him. Every breath was like a new beginning, too. He imagined the sadness that he felt yesterday, leaving him with each breath out and each breath in as he brought in more sunshine and more smiles. 
The last block to school was the busiest part of the walk. He went past a car wash and saw the men drying off the cars as they came out of the wash. They looked so clean and shiny like new cars. As Andre approached the school, his friends were calling and waving to him. He smiled and waved back with enthusiasm. The awful feeling from yesterday was gone and he felt fresh and happy inside. It was a new day. Have you ever felt so bad about something that you didn't want to get out of bed? That's happened to me before. It's not a good feeling, right? What do you think Andre, what do you think helped Andre feel better by the time he got to school? I think he was realizing on his walk to school that this was a new day, right? And he didn't have to worry about the stuff that happened yesterday anymore. Because this was a new chance. He was starting over. All right. So before I say goodbye, I'm going to sing a song for you. It's an Easter song for today. Um, and it's about Jesus rising from the dead. And also about how things grow in the spring. It's called, Now the Green Blade Riseth. Do you know what that means? The green blade is like grass or wheat grass in this song. And it's coming up out of the ground. And if you look outside, you'll see the green grass is coming up too. <clears throat> now the green blade riseth from the buried grain. We that in the dark earth many days have Love lives again, that with the dead has been. Love will come again, like wheat that springeth green. In the grave they laid him, love who had been slain, thinking Easter. See you soon.